Asrilai mommy, see it don't honor, isn't it? So I guess this year's flavor is Cherry Airheads. So uh, they revealed this a month early before even Halloween Spooky Month started. Weird. Anyhow. Uh, what you're about to see is our blind footage taste test before the news broke out. So, enjoy! Well, howdy y'all. Dewey here. And, uh, I was told by Crash that since now I'm the Mountain Dew guy, that I have to be the one this year to actually try something a little strange and unusual. So, the past couple years, uh, Crash himself has taken the liberty of actually taste testing and trying all the different Mountain Dew Voodoo flavors. Now, past couple years have been interesting to say the least. They've done this for about three years now. Now, each flavor has been very widely and very uniquely distinct. Uh, with one of them specifically being uh, Caramel Apple, which nobody was correct on that guess. Uh, one of them being the most despised unpopular flavor, Candy Corn. And one of them being a quote-unquote sour-like candy gummy, which that's just their legal way of saying Sour Patch Kids. So, either way... The whole history of Mountain Dew Voodoo, he already did a video on. So if you want to go watch that, go watch that. But, today, or rather this year is a little different. Because in this Halloween segment, I don't know where he came up the name with that. Um, we're actually going to be taste testing Mountain Dew Voodoo 4. That's right. Now... This isn't an exclusive flavor by any means. You can pick this up at any gas station, any you know, convenience store, any grocery store, pretty much anywhere. So, but there has been a very interesting uh, antidote with this. So every year they do a zero sugar flavor, which is the one that he gets. However, this year was a little more difficult because they released a zero sugar flavor but no one was selling it. And at the time of this recording, Crash didn't wind up receiving a care package directly from Mountain Dew or a sample package of the new flavor. So other people have been receiving it, but not him. So with that in mind, we had to go on the hunt to try and find it. Now, obviously we didn't film any sort of stuff off camera with it, but thanks to our good buddy, Micah Manticore, he was actually able to find it, procure it, and bring it right on over. So, thanks, Micah. You get a special shout-out. I appreciate you, buddy, from across space and time. With that in mind, Mountain Dew Voodoo, number four. Zero sugar. And, of course, obviously, in our Mountain Dew glass. So, now, this one is different, though. Because they have confirmed on social media that the reason why this one's different is because they actually partnered up with a national candy brand for this one this year. So we know for a fact that it is a candy flavor. We know for a fact that it's from a recognizable brand. But we don't know what brand past couple of years have been all very interesting flavors from what i've been told so let's give it a crack and you know it's a fresh bottle because we haven't even opened it yet so we can get it open we're having a little trouble right now there we go there it is this one was stubborn. All right. Let's see what you came up with and who you partnered with.
That is a very interesting smell. I don't normally smell these Mountain Dews first and foremost. I don't give them usually a, a, a whiff beforehand, but let me tell you, this one's um got an interesting scent to it. So let's try it. Give me a moment. Hmm. You know what that tastes like? Laffy Taffy. That tastes exactly like a Laffy Taffy. Like, I taste that little bit of candy flavor to it. I taste a tiny, tiny amount of fruit flavor, but, like, barely noticeable. But it gives me that, like, that distinct memory of, like, biting on a just a big Laffy Taffy. I wouldn't almost even say a Nerd's Rope, because Nerd's Ropes are actually really good and super crunchy, especially in my timeline. But this actually tastes like a really condensed Laffy Taffy. So, um, but we're going to pause this segment real quick, and then we're going to see what the internet thinks. So, we'll be right back. Hey, we're back. So, quick clarification and correction. Um, so, the first year's Voodoo Mystery Flavor was candy corn. The second one was a fruit candy explosion. Uh, the third one was fruit candy chews. And the fourth one was sour candy flavor. So basically, candy corn, Skittles, uh, Starbursts, and Sour Patch Kids. Now, this year, they actually released some clues on social media with what the flavor could be. But I think one of the clues is kind of a very dead giveaway. <laughs> Puns. Get it? Because spooky and uh, you're no fun. Point is, it's a very dead giveaway and they kind of referenced the the It movies, which I've seen. They're pretty decent. So I know Crash isn't a big fan of those, but I like the It movies. I like the sort of, you know, killer goes out and gets you and stabs you and stuff. He likes more of the psychological horrors. You know, the paranormal activities, the... The Shinings, the uh, Final Destinations, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm getting off tangent. Point is, it's Airheads. Like, flat out. Now that I taste it a bit more, now that I looked at the clues, it's piecing together. It tastes like Airheads. Specifically, the White Mystery Airheads that they used to do a while back. I thought Laffy Taffy at some point, like I said earlier in the segment, but no, Airheads makes a lot of sense. So, and I'm actually pleasantly okay with that. If that's what this is, that's good Airheads. <laughs> that's good Mountain Dew Airheads. So, anyhow, um, that about does it for this Hello Weird segment. Uh, I figured since I'm the Mountain Dew guy now, I gotta, you know, Try all the Mountain Dews. So, um, that about does it for me, Dewey. And uh, I'll see you all later. So, and uh, stay safe and spooky out there, I guess.